to Perspective Now, I'm Marcus, and I'm here with none other than Nunyub and Radical Reggie. How the hell are you guys doing? Doing great, man. Thanks for awesome. having me on. Awesome. That's so great to hear, because we're going to be talking about the video game commercials from 1981. We did oh, 1980. Nice. We put that in the bag. We finished right. that up. We sealed it up, and we delivered. You guys enjoyed that one. So we said, let's go to 1981 and let's see what they have. Right on. And Nunyub, tell us, what do you think? How's it looking? It looks like the future. So with that said, <laughs> Reggie, I, I want to I wanna just blow your mind for a moment as you see how things have improved from 1980 as we jump right into 1981. All right. I'm Coleco's head-to-head electronic huh. football, and I'm Mattel's football too. Guy looks familiar. And I'm he a does. Game. I'm only a one-player game. I've got a big playing field. The guy from Dumb and Dumber. Smaller. I can oh. roll. Receivers. <laughs> I can't. I've got He's also a game. thug in a lot of other movies in the eighties. I can my same hair too. Lockers. Yeah. Coleco head-to-head football with real two-player action. Rayovac again. Yeah, those really? batteries, man. Reggie, you, go ahead, man. Me? Um, I I actually like this one. This one was pretty funny, and it, and just knowing that that guy was in Dumb and Dumber kind of sold me more on the commercial because I'm I don't I'm not into like like, like the dress up type stuff, but you know, but with these guys, it was pretty funny, so I think it worked. So I think I would actually want that for Christmas back then. Uh huh. So I'm gonna go with um, gotta have it. Huh? Huh? First right. time I said it, huh? Gotta have it. Gotta have it. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to say it's kind of weird that uh, Mattel and Coleco are just going head to head themselves with these games because clearly Mattel came out with the one from 1979 just called Football. Then in 1980, they had Football 2, and Coleco had the other one, which I don't really remember that, but I guess it was head to head. Anyway, I'm just confused with all this shit. That actor definitely points for that. The guy on the left is some sports dude. We got the Rayovac logo. The guy on the right, by the way, he is a thug in other movies. I think he's in some movie with Richard Pryor. It might be Hear No Evil, See No Evil. Mm. Which also has Kevin Spacey, by the way. Anyway, um, and Gene Wilder. Yep. I'm going to go with uh, meh, because I'm kind of tired of the head-to-head between Mattel and Coleco. Meh. Nah. Okay. Huh. I hear that. I feel like this is a, I want to say a throwback, but I think it's cool that they're basically the wacky wild inflatable arm flailing tube men of uh, the day with their wearing their costumes of what they are. Uh, I like that they're talking to each other. I think that <laughs> this guy is obviously better than the guy who you're referring to is a thug again in many movies, but again, in his best known, at least to me, performance in Dumb and Dumber. I mean, quite possibly one of the best performances there are. Uh, and so I, I think this is a great commercial. I, it makes the point. I'm going to go with Rod. Are you yeah. okay? Yeah. Are you uh, into those tube socks by chance? Did that influence Bye. your decision? First of all, I think that. You're right. I was biased in that I am so into those tube socks. Yeah. So, yes, that that was the thing that probably had me from the start. I mean, you can't buy those anymore. Yeah, you can. Oh, yes, you can. With those stripes? Yeah, man. Have you been to Goodwill before? I showed you how good television looks and played more like the real thing. Oh, it's George Plimpton Ice-T again. All they showed you were their space games. Here's what they didn't show in television space battle. Holy shit, those graphics are way better. An Astro Smash. I think when you finally compare space games, there's only one conclusion you can come to in television from Mattel Electronics. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nunya, what do you think of that that last one? And this George Plimpton's really like laying it hard as far as like the facts. Like he's yeah. He's not really leaving much to the just leaning on his own character, which I feel like him being the guy doing it is what 
you would have assumed they would go for, but he's mm-hmm. showing you side by side. I think that's a great commercial. Uh, it's rad. Rad. Um, I, I love the presentation of it as well. I thought he just, he pretty much showed like how it was, man, and it was awesome. So uh, I'm going to say we've got to have it. Because if I saw that back then, man, that'd be it. Gotta, gotta have, it. have it. Gotta have well, it. Well, I think uh, just like in 1980, seeing George Plimpton come back and do the comparison again, it's convincing. I would absolutely buy an Intellivision over an Atari 2600 based on those commercials. I mean, it looks awesome. It looks completely awesome compared to the piddly squeak Atari 2600. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and give it a hot. That's hot. That's hot. Now, I'm sorry, but I do have to ask. I mean, Atari has made it into, like, the folklore of video games. I haven't really heard of it in television. Have you guys? This is why. Know. This is why we <laughs> have you have on you here, Nanya. But yeah, um, yes. And those. But you saw the side by side, right? I saw it. I saw it. I mean, I was. I was there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. The Intellivision. Here's the deal, though. I will be real. The Intellivision um, is a system that I did not have growing up. Only a couple friends of mine had one. And we never played it. We never played it because we were too busy playing like G.I. Joe's and other shit. It just wasn't cool. Atari 2600, for some reason, had a cooler feeling to it. I think it might have been the controllers. If I remember mm. right, the Intellivision controllers looked like weird. a fucking phone. Yeah. Okay. It looked like a That's telephone. That's what I was wondering. Is I was like, why don't I know about this thing? Yeah. It, right. had a it looks paddle. cooler. It had like a little paddle and like There's a telephone. There's a joystick. No, it wasn't a joystick. It was right. It looked like a phone. The, 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 it well, no, like the Atari phone. had the joystick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the the uh, that the system just really looked. The controller looked re- very weird. That threw a lot of people off. I, I remember because I remember playing it. I was like, "What button does this?" And like, "Oh, it's it's pretty crazy." Yeah. So I think I they what... had joysticks, but I my friends didn't have those. I don't think. All right. Okay. Let's look into what this sweater vest has to say. ます。調べます。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコン。パピコ
<laughs> oh, well, that's just disappointing. I thought that they were going to get there as time goes on. But the no. fact of the matter is, I think it's cool that this is fun for the whole family. Uh, I, I'm all right with it. But at the same time, meh, meh, meh. Right. meh. It's not like exciting. The NES is Nintendo. Nintendo Entertainment System. That's what, that's what the NES is. The only NEC. thing cool about this, this, this system is the song, the song for the commercial. I think. Oh, yeah. The keyboard looks pretty awesome. That's a really sci-fi that looking song. keyboard. That's a really cool looking keyboard. I don't know what's going on. It, it looks like the keys are like squished. It's unusual. Or for, or for small hands. When it comes to space games, Wait a minute. nobody compares to Atari. Excuse me. <laughs> this guy. Yes. Yeah. I can't get enough of this guy. Neither can I. I was just wondering, where's George Plimpton? And now there's Space Armada and the Incredible Astro Smash. I didn't know. Here, compare for yourself. Here, dial your mom. Space game. Have her come over. Once you compare, you'll know. You know what? He pizza. can say that as many times as he wants to, though. The fact of the matter is, whatever he was talking about is not Space Invaders. Space Invaders is what we all know in the lexicon of video games. So I'm sorry, George, you're losing the battle. The more and more I see this, the more I realize this is just not happening. I'm I'm going to go ahead and say. And who is that like Macaulay Culkin looking like lame kid? This is lame. This is a lame commercial. Hmm. Lame. Reggie, go ahead. Uh, hey, George Plimpton was in it, and I was already sold when he walked into the screen. Um, I'm gonna say it was pretty rad. Yeah. Rad. I thought it was gonna be an Atari 2600 commercial mocking George Plimpton and his comparison video, and I thought the kid was gonna do it, <laughs> and it was gonna yeah. be like making fun of this stupid idea of comparing from Atari's perspective, but it wasn't. It was another George Plimpton commercial. And um, it was the weakest one so far, although I got to say the graphics still look better than the Atari 2600. It's just at the end, he hands him the phone. He wants him to call his mom to, you know, come over and then he wants him to order a pizza. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. It's kind of creepy. It's it's ew. 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 I guess the fact that George Plumpton is hitting on this kid's mom through the commercial is kind of cool in that respect, I guess. But what what's going on there? And why is it that Intellivision has become so lame in comparison to Atari? Why is it that it didn't work even though it had George Plumpton selling it? It had better graphics. What? Did it just cost way too much? I got to know. I got to know. And I don't know because I've never had the Intellivision. And I, Do you think you might get one now? I'm not looking to buy one, no. Texas in- All oh, right, Bill Cosby! Yes! The only thing wrong is I never get to use it. See, this morning the kids learned about math. Perfect! And this afternoon, my neighbors I had one of these. learned how to balance their budget. Then these guys came by to learn how to find their neighbors. His neighbors did their I'm budget? I'm going to learn chess. Observe the master. With the home computer from Texas Instruments, <laughs> you're not just playing, you're learning. Oh my god. Um, Nunyub, Brian... go ahead. Okay. Reg... <laughs> Nunyub, you do this one, then Reggie. No, I, I gotta defer to Reggie. Reggie, go right ahead. Reggie, go uh, ahead. Fine. Uh, pre Cosby Bill. Bill Co... Oh, pre. What was I gonna say? Well, anyway, uh, pre <laughs> Bill Cosby from the. Yeah, back in the day, hilarious, funny, I mean, especially with the eye blink towards the end of the commercial. That was funny as hell. Um, I've seen one of these before, so I always thought they were kind of unique. Um, I liked how he presented in the he presented it in the commercial. I thought it was pretty cool. He, he got down to the points and showed what it could do. So I'm gonna say what it was pretty rad. Rad. I I think he's so convincing that I don't like it. He's saying, listen, this Ooh. thing is so cool that I don't ever get to use it. I think that's a terrible selling point. Like I'm sorry, I'm selfish in that respect that I'm thinking, hey. I'm not buying this thing so that my neighbors can do their budgeting on it. But again, 
with that said, I think I feel like it's that first commercial we watch where it's like, hey, not only is this fun to play, but it's educational. I mean, this is this is the original computer making its case that, hey, not only is it going to be functional for the workplace, but it's going to be fun to play with. I feel like it's so cool that we're watching those original commercials. Uh, again, the charm of those blinks does not age well, but it was charming at the time. I got to admit it was. Uh, so I got to say, it looks cool. I got to have it. I want it. I do want it. Gotta have it. Gotta well, have I think it. what Reggie was trying to say is Bill Cosby pre Bill Cosby Before. show. Yeah, that's what I was right. trying to say before all the current situations. So um, it was I just nice. Pre Bill Cosby show, I think it's pre current situation. Not yeah, the Cosby maybe, show. We all maybe, love the Cosby maybe show. I should, maybe I should have said that, but it looked like the commercial was done before the Cosby show. It was. It is totally. Yeah, is. Yeah. This is 1981. So, that's what I meant. But I yeah. kind of just trailed off a bit. But yeah, none yeah, you read into it a little bit more. I had one of these. I was living in Arkansas, and um, I got one in like 19. 19- 89 or 90 and um it was right around the time maybe it was 91 because i actually had gotten a sega genesis before this and uh my sega genesis had sonic and i would rent streets of rage and um and then this thing showed up and it was like something happened like where it was a gift to my stepdad or something and then he brought it home and uh anyway i did mess with it i hooked it up i remember that it was really high quality and heavy kind of and then you would put cartridges in that weird slot and it came with a couple games but they were really weird and then there was this one program book that came with it and i programmed my own game it took like an hour and you had to code it all out and it was like this dancing dude that would like do a trivia or something i barely remember it i never played that thing again i mean i played it once and then it just sat in the closet (laughs) but Oh. I guess there's some good memories there. In this Texas it's instruments. It's not fair to judge it against the Genesis. You gotta judge it was it a back tough time. To yeah, back well in eighty one, I would be pretty impressed. And this commercial is pretty awesome because, like it or not, back in the day, we didn't know what Bill Cosby would be accused of or do. I'm not here to debate that. But back in the day, Bill Cosby was like a national treasure, and his audio comedy, the whole Noah's Ark, and the San Francisco Hill on the bug and all his stand up was really good, man. And the blinking eyes and everything. The blinking eyes and J E L L O. Um, I'm gonna give it that's hot. I wanna I wanna go and have some drinks with Bill Cosby. (laughs) That's hot. That's hot. Wow. Wow. (laughs) I guess you can learn from losing. Uh, there you go. Go. <laughs> on your ColecoVision, Atari VCS, or in television home Coleco video Vision. system. Won't that be fun? Don't worry, darling. I'll help save you. Help me. Coming soon. Whoa. That was a short commercial. It was a preview. I don't uh, feel like that man was going to save her at all. Uh, Donkey Kong yeah. is awesome. It looks super cool, but the commercial's too short. Trash it. Wow. Hmm. That's... Right. And I love Donkey Kong. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Okay, uh, Reggie. Um, yeah, the commercial was really too short to really like judge anything. I thought it was kind of cool how they reacted some stuff in the game, like like the the kidnapping, but it was too fast. So, meh. Hmm. Meh. Nah. Nah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it either. There's a movie um, that my family enjoys called Where's Papa got george something in it and then the old lady i can't remember her name she was really famous uh shit i can't remember anybody in it but anyway there's a scene where he dresses up in a gorilla suit something about this reminded me of that and it was charming um clearly it's a preview so i'm guessing in 1982 donkey kong came out in ColecoVision. that's all i can get from this but uh yeah i don't know it was cool it was super short i'm not sure i, I guess i'll give it a meh meh nah. nah. Too short. Like the rapper. That's what she said? Yeah, it was just like 10 seconds long. A little that. bit. Yeah, if that, right? 
They call him Mr. Arcade. Because there isn't any game he hasn't played. He's beat the best. He scorns the This is you. Mr. Arcade. I want to play Mr. Arcade? I know. That's Coleco's new alien attack. Play it once and you'll be back. Aliens attack from every side. You feel that there's no place to hide. They swallow you up. They blast away. You gotta shoot and run to stay in play. I like alien attacks. Is this the crack of video games? Alien attack from Coleco. The arcade game you can take home with you. Whoa. Uh... Reggie, go ahead on that one, man. Uh, the whole presentation of the commercial was really well done. I was intrigued watching it. You know, he came in there all chill, put on the glasses, looked up at us and smiled when, when he was playing the game. Um, though I'm not sure if I would want to pick up that game, I still think the commercial was pretty cool. So I'm going to go, go say that was pretty hot. <laughs> that was hot? Okay. That's hot. That's hot. I, I, uh, I'm a little intimidated by the fact that... Uh, once I pick it up, I'm not going to be able to put it down. I got to have it. Okay. Uh, got to have it. The presentation, like Reggie said, was off the hook. It was super 80s. I love that it was like he actually went into an arcade. But why the hell would he go play that little thing if he's at an yeah. arcade? If he's Mr. Arcade, he's going to play that stupid little thing? It was funny hearing the sound Big effects. things come in small packages. Mm. Okay. <laughs> The, it's just funny hearing the sound effects, you know, like, uh, I don't know. The commercial itself was absolutely badass. It's just the game was a little left something to be desired. I think if anything, that commercial served your local arcades really well, you know, uh, but I'm going to give it a rad. Dad. It's Digital Daredevil. That's the way you say the name. Getting the motorcycle over obstacles is the way you play the game. What? If you want to be a player, you have to move the cycle just right. Wow. You Side bike real from careful, back in the you'll day. You'll see a flash of light. You can play it lower. That kid looks like Seth Green. And if you're really a good player, the cycle gets through without a bump. Battery's not included. No real back this time. Digital Daredevil, the digital motorcycle stunt game is made by Tommy. Oh, Tommy. I always yeah, said maybe. Tommy. They made, they made uh, good stuff back in the day. I remember the little car, the little mini car. I have that one still. Oh, you yeah. do? Yeah. That was the one I really remember. I've never seen this thing in my life, but I, I'm going to I'm gonna go first on this, guys, because I love this. The look, the red and the black. I feel like I'm watching a Knight Rider episode. It's very cool. The song was like straight out of Dukes of Hazzard. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. Something about this is very cool. The, look at that font. Digital Daredevil. Yeah. Rad. Rad. It reminds me of Excitebike. Uh, you know, that's <laughs> yeah. the point of reference I have into it. Yeah. And I thought that looked super fun. Uh, I'm going to go with Gotta Have It. Gotta Have It. Gotta Have It. All right, so... um. Uh, I love uh, Tomi products. Uh, I actually still have something very similar to that. Still works to this day, and cool. they're actually pretty fun. So I, I would say uh, I gotta have that because uh, I love that stuff back in the day. Cool. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Check out Atari.com. Atari brings the computer age home. Okay, Ma, what's the Whoa! Oh my God, it's the computer. Learn geography or get your jump shot on target with Atari home computers. What? Anything's possible. In fact, they just might be the wisest investment you'll ever make. Watch this. Stock analysis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't burn. I told you she's smart. Atari home computers. We brought the computer. Oh. That mom was able to answer confidently thanks to this video game playing machine. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot. That's hot. Um, the mom in the commercial was the, the big seller. I think uh, she had a lot of charisma. I feel like that machine though is not really like my thing. So um, though I like the whole commercial how it was and the ending as well, um, I'm gonna go with meh. Mm. Meh. Meh. <sighs> Uh, I'm impressed with that commercial. I thought it was really pretty cool. Um, the, the Atari computers were nothing to laugh at. And, and I am not familiar with that model. Uh, it's just, I wasn't lucky enough to be around that for gaming. Um, I thought that was hilarious that you guys pointed out stock analysis though. 
Yeah, I saw uh, that. It was right on I, the top, right? In, yeah. In 1995, I think it was, I um, like interned at a recording studio. And um, this friend of mine had, when I went in there, he had you know, digital workstations, like what we would call is like a digital audio workstation now. And so we had reel to reel, we could record analog and that was great. But he also had where you could use a computer and you could record and edit on the computer. Well, the computers that we used were in Atari. They were Ataris. And I have came from like Mac pluses and like Macintosh. And it was like the same menu. It was crazy. Like the GUI, the graphical user inter interface was like the same. It was like a mouse and like it just looked just like a Mac. Anyway, I'm so impressed with Atari computers. I wish I had one just to kind of mess around with. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I got to have it. Got to have it. Who owns the rights to Atari computers? Is that going to come back out someday? Oh, That's man, what I want to know. You're opening up a can of worms. The They just <laughs> did launch a, a, a HD version of Atari, and they came back with their a system, and um, I don't have it, and I watched a little bit of info about it. It doesn't seem to. Oh, but this like is going to become more of a thing. They just Atari came is out. A name. Somebody bought the name. I don't think. Right. I don't know if. Discover a world beyond your wildest dreams. Discover Atari. Holy Pioneers shit. Look Columbia at that. Games like oh my god. <laughs> the guy's face. And the asteroids that challenge you. Well, these are like arcade games. Test you like never before. Discover the Atari that opened your eyes oh. to the world's most popular home video games like Space Invaders. Missile Command and Warlords. Discover the Atari that brought you a home computer truly designed for the home. Sophisticated for advanced needs, yet simple enough for your child to use. Compose music, play advanced games, manage your finances, all at the touch of a button. Discover Atari. Atari! Oh my god, I have the chills. I think I'm tearing up. How do I give this a double rad? I mean, holy shit. It's it does everything. It was like this commercial was like it made me feel like I was actually in the 80s so much. This uh look at Reggie, he looks so bored. I'm going to I'm about to cry. I'm giving this a rad. God. Holy shit. I could die right now and I'd be happy. Um Oh man, I just don't know how I feel about this one. I feel I, I, I like the commercial, but I think something about it kind of put me to sleep with the, with the way the music was. So I'm gonna say uh, trash it. You know, they could they could have done better with the commercial. I think. Um, oh, what's that? You said you said that's rad. Is that trash what you said? It. Oh, yeah. Trash, trash it. Trash it. <laughs> I think that this is exactly what we were just talking about a moment ago, which is that. The name Atari gets people like Marcus off. And the fact is, if they came out with a new machine, it's going to work. It, it, it can be lame. It's going to be awesome because they've got a lot of brand influence from back in the day, which I'm. I, it just makes sense that somebody's coming back out with it. I do not appreciate how much budgeting is coming in to all of these commercials like have you noticed that's in every single one of it bill cosby's neighbors are doing their budget on it the the original uh family at the first commercial was doing their budgeting on it again i want to have fun i don't want to do my budget but that said it seems to be a big piece of all these computers uh so with that all said meh 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 it's a well-rounded piece of hardware, man. And it's and that, by the way, that commercial, if you guys missed it, it went from arcade games where it showed the control panels, zoomed in to actual arcade games, and it was like looking through the CRT. The camera was through the CRT, and the game was being projected on a piece of glass, and then the person's face would show up. I mean, that was rad. And then and then they showed... What does CRT Atari mean? Cathode ray tube. It's the old... CRT is a TV like the arcade games okay. have 
And then and then it went to the Atari 2600, and then it went to the computer where you saw the budgeting. It, so it was just Atari as a company. It was like an Atari. Time traveled. Yeah, it was like an it was like a portfolio of Atari Computer Incorporated. Yeah, that's awesome. I met somebody I... who was in charge of Atari, uh, and he was in Portland. I can't remember who what his name was. I feel like it was uh, it wasn't Nolan Bushnell, but it was like somebody up there with him. It was like his marketing dude. And I met him briefly at an office, and I just said, nice to meet you. And he was in a real estate office. It was really weird. Wow. Anyway, that's all I got. This is a great... I, I think you came up with the perfect words. With that said, Marcus, I've got to say, this was our list from 1981. Whoa. How can that be? Uh, was that 10 of them? That was so crazy. Discover how far you can go. That was fast. See how far we can go. Man, that was, that was great. Thanks so much, you guys. That was something else going down memory lane with you guys and all yeah. of you. Please let us and know. Reggie, go ahead. I just want to say it was rad being here. All right. Okay. Thank you. It's always <laughs> rad to have radical Reggie on. Nunyab, is there anything that you would like to talk to the people about before we go? Man, I just got to say that I'm so stoked to have radical Reggie here. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. All right. Can't well, wait we to wanted... see you all when it comes to the videos of 1982. Yeah. Oh. For video games, it's going to be crazy. But we want to know which one out of this list is the one that you would take home. Seriously. Is it the NEC Papi and Pa? Is it the Intellivision? Is it the football one with the guy from Dumb and Dumber? Is George I mean... Clinton doing it for you? Yeah, we want to know what your opinions are because they they matter to us on Perspective Now. So, with that said, if you like the video, leave a like. Please uh, subscribe. Share this shit out there. And until next time, you know what you're going to do. You're going to keep that shit retro by doing your budget on the Atari computer system later on. Mm -hmm.